What's going on Workforce? Brian here and today we're tackling Robin from Fire Emblem. Now this hero has a lot of resources to manage, especially in the form of his Leaven Blade and his various tomes. And so I'm going to break all of that down here for you. We're going to talk about his ups, downs, lefts, rights, smashes, as well as his Leaven smashes and his aerial attacks both forward and back and how both your Leaven Blade and how your other bronze sword has an impact and how they play out differently. We're also going to go over our specials, our grabs, and our final smash in this guide. This is a one-on-one guide. I want to say thank you to Nintendo for providing work to game an additional copy of this game. And I also want to say thanks to Rezo for helping to kind of proofread my notes on these different characters. That way, hopefully I can bring you the best one-on-one guide from work to game. If you like these videos, if you like Smash Brothers and you want to see more coverage and on work to game, please be sure to hit that thumbs up. It really lets us know what you're thinking. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the ups, downs, left and rights of Robin. So first thing I'm going to talk about the Levin Sword. Now, you can see here down in the bottom left-hand corner, right above his name, I have a special sword that's got this little jagged thunder lightning kind of action going on to it. As I continue to use various smash attacks, that will go down and deplete as well. So just keep that in mind. That also applies to air attacks. You can see that it just keeps going down as I use the sword. Now, once I run out of the sword, it's going to be out of commission for 10 seconds. You can see that it's almost done. I go ahead and use that and I disregard the sword and it disappears. Now that bar is going to continue to fill up. In the meantime, though, all of this is going to then just use my bronze sword. As soon as it fills back up, though, you can see that it turns back into the Levin sword which is going to output a lot more damage on various characters. And as, of course, they take more damage, thus they're going to fly further. One thing that the Leaven Sword does not do is if I'm down here just regular doing regular attacks, it's going to shift back to the Bronze Sword. So with your neutral and your side tilt and your up tilt, all of those are going to just use your Bronze Sword. It isn't until you get into your aerial attacks that you're going to switch the Leaven Sword as well as your smash attacks. Essentially, it breaks down to you have eight uses of the Levin Sword and you're going to throw it away and you can't use it for 10 seconds. Use your neutral track while grounded to draw out your Bronze Sword. So when you've used up your Levin Sword, you can perform smash attacks with a Bronze Sword in any direction in midair to reduce the weight. You also can't use the Levin Sword at the start of the battle. It's going to start off charging though, but once time passes, you're going to be able to use it. Your Tomes, however, can be used at the start and your Tomes or anything from your special attack and things like that. And they each have their own resource, as you can see here below, represented by a different color. Now, regarding tomes, you also have that resource. So as I continue to use the fire here, which is my side special, I'm essentially going to disregard the tome. And even the disregard of the tome will hurt somebody. And you can see that the tome itself starts recharging as well. And now I can use it again. The color of the book in hand is representative of the tome or the ability they're using. As you can see here, as I charge up my special neutral, the tome is yellow, which represents lightning in which that I'm going to use to attack. And depending on the level of the spell or the power of the spell, it's going to use more or less more of that resource. As a general rule, the remaining uses of tomes and the Leaven Sword won't reset until they are fully used up. So you can see here, I've got four bars left. This is not going to charge. The best way to use it is to deplete it so it can start charging if you're trying to plan out some other attack or if you get KO'd. So regarding your basic attacks, he has two kind of combos. And you can see here just holding down your base attack in neutral is going to do this base combo and finish it off with fire. But instead of it holding, if I keep pressing, I'm going to use this combo and use the wind tome. So one uses the fire and one uses the wind. If I'm out of those tomes though, they aren't going to complete. Your up special also uses your wind tome, and if you run out of that, it's going to really impact your recovery. All right, so with all that said, let's go ahead and break down our normal attacks, neutral, up tilt, side tilt, down tilt, all of that, and go over each one, and then we're going to jump into our specials, talk about those as well. So there's just a lot of pre-gaming with Robin that we needed to cover. So his normal neutral, again, like if you hold it and press, you can see here I can get 10.2% on a three-hit combo, and that fire tome launches, obviously, the target backwards. Now, this is going to have a two point range, and if I don't connect, it's not going to work that way. But if I get in close and at least get that second hit, I'm going to be able to connect. Now, your flurry combo is going to hit and press back, and if you time it, you can get anywhere from 18 to 20 percent on that combo itself. This happens to also throw him up in the air, so that'd be really good to kind of finish to come up here with your up tilt and combo as well, depending on the timing.
Up tilt is very short range. You can see here, I'm just under like 1.2 squares kind of away and I'm not even connecting. So you need to be up and close and you're gonna get that juggle. You're gonna see that damage at 7.2%. Your side tilt is gonna have two and a half squares worth of range. And you're gonna see it put out 9% damage. Down tilt, it's gonna have two squares of range and you're gonna see it at 7.2% damage. Your dash is gonna put out a nice even 12% and it's got a nice little launching power. It's gonna knock them back several squares as they continue to take more and more damage. Now for his air neutral, it's gonna put out a nice 13.8% and he's gonna hit both directions, both forward and back. Now his bronze sword though is only gonna put out 8.2% damage. So you have a huge damage difference in bronze and leaven. His air up for bronze is gonna put out 9.3% while his up air is gonna put out 15.6% damage with leaven. Now his air down is gonna have this nice little slash down for like 8% damage, 8.2%. And the leaven though, while putting out more damage is gonna have a meteor style effect to it as well. But that's only with the leaven blade. The base damage for leaven blade down is gonna be around 13.2 to 14.4% depending on how you connect with them. Forward air is gonna put out a nice, just even 9%. It's not very deadly or very powerful, but it can get the job done. And while with Levin, that is much more powerful at 15% damage. Back air is gonna see a nice 10.8% damage pretty evenly. While back air for Levin is gonna be at 18%. All right, so now let's talk about his up, side, and down smash attacks. If you're not aware of how to execute a smash attack, just press and hold the right stick in any direction to the right or left, up and down to execute a smash attack. You can also do the same thing by holding the left stick and the main attack button in the direction to achieve the same goal. Charging it up for longer is gonna have a more devastating effect and increase damage output and launch ability. Now for his up smash, he is not going to have any forward connection with the bronze sword. However, with the leaven sword, you're gonna see you're able to actually get some forward connection at 16.8% damage on your up smash. And with the bronze blade, you can see that puts out 15.1% damage when they're jumping. Again, they're gonna have to be in the air if you do not have your Levin Sword. And just because you have the Levin Sword doesn't mean it's not more powerful when they're in the air. While you're able to put out, you know, 15.1, 16% damage, when they're in the air and you connect with them spot on, you can see it at 25.2% damage. Side smash with bronze at 16.1%. Side smash with Levin at 26.8%. You can see it also has a lot of knockback power just at 0% for your opponent. Your down attack with bronze is gonna put out 13.4% and your down smash with leaven is gonna put out 25.2% damage. Regarding your side smash, it's at two squares range and a little under two squares, usually around 1.8 for your down smash. So not a ton of range with your sword. All right, so now let's talk about your specials. Your neutral special is Thunder, and depending on how long you hold it down, hold down just your special attack, it's gonna turn into one of four spells. Just doing it real quick is gonna be this nice quick Thunder spell, and you can see it just takes one from your tone. This is not very powerful, but it is very fast. It also has a range of six squares, and it's gonna put out a nice 6.6% .6 damage. If you just press the button, he's gonna charge it up. And the first charge up is L Thunder, and you can see this has much greater range, but it uses way more of your tomes to cast. L Thunder has a range of 11 squares and is gonna put out a nice 13.2% damage. The second level up is Arc Thunder. Arc Thunder has 13 squares worth of range, and you can see it can take up a huge part of your bar. It's gonna multi-hit them and blast them for 28.3% damage. And finally, your last level is Thoron. This has 61 squares worth of range. You're gonna get maybe three casts of this off with a fully charged bar. This has such huge range, but it's not gonna put out as much damage as Arc Thunder. It's gonna put out 21.8% damage. Your side special is Arc Fire, which if hit directly is gonna put out 18.1% damage, but if you hit them, not necessarily spot on, it could put anywhere from 15 or more percent damage. 
It's got a little boosting power, but once it's run out, it's gonna take about 12 seconds before you can actually recharge this before it recharges on its own. His down special is Nusferu. It's gonna put out 19.2% damage and it will recover around 14%, so it actually can heal you. You're gonna get three charges with this and it's going to take 30 seconds for it to fully recharge once depleted. So use this sparingly and strategically. Your up is Elwyn, and this is gonna have a meteor style effect with the first green blade that flies out. You can also see that it puts out 14.4% damage. On a recovery perspective, it actually gives you 10 plus 10 in height. However, if you do run out of your green wind tome, you will not be able to use this ability and you're not gonna have a lot of recovery. You can see it just has a nice little, little hop of one or two squares. It does recharge very quickly though, so be <laughs> relax you're gonna have a lot of opportunity there all right so now let's talk about recovery with elwin a nice double jump you can easily get around 22 to 24 squares of recovery with this ability again if you do not have your <laughs> green tomes you're going to be in a world of hurts just manage that resource sparingly also if you do find yourself running out please be sure to deplete it so that way you can start to recharge itself very nicely and again it does also put out damage directly below you. All right, so now let's cover his grabs. His down grab is at 7.2%. His forward grab is at 9.6%. His up grab is at 10.8%. And his back grab is actually the strongest at 13.2%. Of course, with all grabs, you can put out a little damage before throwing them. All right, so now let's cover his final smash. It's gonna have maybe a maximum of nine squares worth of range. I've seen it maybe hit a little bit longer, but for the most part, it is around nine. It's gonna put out 56.4% damage, and if it does connect, you will actually fully recharge your leaven and your tomes. So if you're really running low and you end up getting a final smash, this can be a great way to recover that inventory without having to burn something or be KO'd in the process. And with that, that pretty much wraps us up for Robin's 101 guide covering his ups, downs, lefts, rights. Hopefully this has been a help. Hopefully this introduces you to the ins and outs of this amazing fighter. He's a ton of fun to play, but you have a lot to manage. So dive into it, get comfortable. Let me know in the comments below who you wanna see next. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments below. And again, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps us out here. Again, my name is Brian and this is Work to Game. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you have a terrific day and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. What's going on, Workforce? Chuck here. It's been a good long month, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. I just wanted to invite my friend Terry, the T-Rex from Texas, out here. Howdy, y'all. How's it going? This is a really fun end screen video. We should have written a script, right, Chuck? Oh, I agree totally. In fact, I think both our voices sound exactly the same. What are we to do? I don't know. I think we need to get a better voice actor. Yes, I agree. Who's, who, which one of us is talking? Ah. <laughs> They're still here. What are we gonna do? <laughs> I guess we're gonna stop and record. <laughs>